Now to Georgia, and that country's interior ministry says 63 people were detained and six police officers injured in the latest night of protests against a controversial draft law. The bill would require media outlets and various civil groups to register as being under foreign influence if they receive more than 20% of their funding from abroad. Critics say the law is similar to one used to silence critics in Russia. Protesters scrambled for safety as Georgia's police began cracking down. Deploying water cannons and firing tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse thousands of people rallying outside Parliament. Several people were injured, including opposition lawmakers. This is completely illegal what they are doing. People have peaceful protests and you see that they are behaving illegally. This is between Iwan and Shrili and people will never surrender. Georgia people will win this battle. Protesters had tried to block Georgia's parliament amid the second reading of the so-called Russian law. Standing here to defend the decision of the society of Georgia to go towards Europe, which is, which is, which is blocked by the parliamentarians who are voting with the second hearing for this legislation, which will prevent Georgia's Euro integration. Earlier in the day, several MPs were expelled from Parliament. They say they've been unable to ask critical questions of the bill. The ruling Georgian Dream Party says the law will ensure greater transparency. On Monday, it brought thousands of supporters to Tbilisi in a show of support. Opposition parties accuse the government of forcing civil servants to attend the rally. The highly contentious bill is back before Parliament on Wednesday. Our correspondent Maria Katamadze is in the Georgian capital, Tbilisi. Maria, what is it about this bill that has so many Georgians worried? Uh, yes, indeed, we are currently in Tbilisi at the Parliament Square where the protesters have been gathering for almost two weeks now to protest this so-called foreign agent bill. Some of the protesters that we managed to talk to, uh, they are telling us that they see the bill as a hand of Moscow. Uh, that the, uh, Another uh, part of protesters, they are telling us that uh, actually the bill uh, is the copy paste of the Russian law. That's how they uh, frame uh, this uh, legislation. They tell us that uh, the, the law has been inspired by the Kremlin policies, that the Georgian government is trying to copy past, as they say, authoritarian, uh, authoritarian tools of uh, uh, Kremlin uh, to crack down on dissent, to silence opposition, to intimidate uh, uh, critical voices in this country. Also, what's very important here to understand that Georgia is uh, a, a, an aspiring EU country. It's a long-awaited uh, dream of many Georgians to become a EU member, and they say that this law will block that path for them. Well, as you say, the uh, protesters claim the bill is similar to a Russian law that's being used to silence critics. How close, Maria, is Georgia's current government to Moscow? It's important to consider uh, and to look closer uh, the uh, founder of the ruling party, Georgian Dream, Bedzina Ivanishvili, who is the uh, billionaire who made his fortune in the 90s in Russia. Yes, he left Russia afterwards and he lived in uh, several countries in, in Europe and in the West. Uh, but uh, at the pro-government rally two days ago, uh, in his speech, he was very, he chastised essentially West. He said that the Western-funded NGOs were responsible for the war in Georgia in 2008 and responsible for the war in Ukraine. So you can see lots of lots of criticism towards the West and many observers uh, say that yes, uh, two days ago speech of the uh, de facto leader of Georgia was actually a major policy shift uh, in Georgia from West closer to Russia. 
Do these protests, Maria, have, a, have any chance of succeeding? Could the bill end up being defeated or withdrawn? Yeah, we've seen a major escalation actually uh, yesterday uh, when the riot police uh, uh, was very, very brutal with the protesters. And as brutal, as, as more brutal the uh, riot police becomes, the more dedicated the protesters seem to defend, uh, to be and to defend uh, their, their European future, as they tell me. Today, the protest is also expected and the turnout seems to be uh, even bigger so we will see how it's going to develop here on the ground but people are very very dedicated as much as the government uh, to make this uh, bill a legislation and people say that they will not make this happen. Maria thank you for your reporting that was DW correspondent Maria Katamatsi in the Georgian capital Tbilisi.